Who or what is your higher self? Today I will be jargon busting this term that you might have heard in the spiritual and law of attraction community a lot, whether that's listening to Wayne Dyer tapes, watching other YouTubers who speak about spirituality, or maybe you're reading an Abraham Hicks book and they keep referencing this word called source and you're confused. So let's get into this today. What is your higher self? Who is your higher self? How do you make use of it to manifest and should you be connecting with it? I'm really excited to talk about this topic. Let's not waste more time. Let's get straight into the video. Welcome to Temple of Sunshine on YouTube and templeofsunshine.com. Temple of Sunshine is a portal for all things manifesting and positivity. I have an online shop as well where I'm currently selling affirmation cards and coaching sessions if you are interested. New products are coming soon. I just need to get my motivation in gear. But if you are interested in all things manifesting, positivity, law of attraction, spirituality, Taoism, I could go on and on, then please do subscribe to this channel. It helps me out so very much. My goal in 2021 is to reach as many people as possible to teach them that life doesn't have to suck. So if you could help me out with that, I would be forever grateful. But let's get into today's topic. What is your higher self or who is your higher self? So one of the basic spiritual concepts out there is that we are not the flesh and bones that we are led to be. We are not you know, Mary or Tyler or <laughs> I don't know, whatever your name may be. And we are not this body. We are not this, you know, physical sort of flesh, shall I call it. We are actually a spirit within. If you're not a spiritual person or if you're not really interested in these things, I know you're rolling your eyes, but hang in there. We are actually made of the same energy as this universe, as the planets around us as just everything because we are made of atoms just in the way that everything else is. I have done a video explaining this before and I'm going to put it up in the cards just so I don't repeat myself but the main concept is that if everything in the universe is made up of atoms and the energy they hold then we too are the same therefore we are on the same frequencies of things and you know I speak about this in my what is vibration video I could go on and on but I'm not going to repeat myself your higher self is simply this connection that we have to the universe. If we're made up of the same things and we essentially have a soul within us, a spirit, which is usually the way, you know, more religious texts talk about our higher self. If we have one of those in us, then that is our connection to the beyond. That is our connection to something bigger and all other beings on this universe let's get into that so your higher self to me and this is my opinion is your more enlightened self it is not that you are not mary or tyler or whatever your name is chloe it is not that you are not whatever your name is and your body but there is something within you that you know controls your consciousness you know when you do something bad and you have that gut feeling where does it come from I like to believe it comes from our higher self pretty much saying, you're better than that, come on now. Our higher self is our most enlightened self. Our higher self is, if you like the, the G word, it's your connection to God. If you don't like the G word, it's your connection to the universe. It is that energy within you. And Wayne Dwyer describes it beautifully. He says, some sort of energy within you is growing your fingernails, growing your hair, beating your heart, regenerating your skin cells. So what is it? Because it can't just be the blood being pumped or the ATP being made in your cells or, you know, the energy transfer, um, your oxygen that you're taking in. It can't just be that. There has to be an energy source pumping this. And what is that? There has to be something within us that is controlling this energy to keep it going. And that is our life source. In Hinduism, in, uh, in you know, bringing it back to the roots, we call it prana, life source, prana. And, and that is also what Abraham Hicks refers to as source. So when they say source adores you or let source take over, we're all talking about one central concept and it is the higher self. And you can see from my hand movements, I'm very passionate about this topic. So I'm going to ramble a little bit, but hang in there. So our higher self, to me, this is me personally. And in your spiritual journey, you'll find your own way of communicating with your higher self. Me, personally, let's say I get in an argument with someone or 
let's say I do something a little bit cheeky, my higher self will step in and be like, be the bigger person, or that wasn't right. You know, it's my conscience, it's my, when I'm feeling down, it is the voice that picks me up and says, actually don't say that about yourself, or you need to realise how amazing you are, or it's that voice in me that tells me, you've got to love yourself. It's that voice when I'm completely in a breakdown that I imagine sort of almost stroking my hair and telling me it's going to be okay because I know that doesn't matter how deep and down in the dumps you are there is a voice there is a glimmer of hope within that tells us that things are going to be okay deep down in our intuition we all have this realization that comes from beyond us that things are going to be okay think about some of the darkest times in your life you might have thought everything sucks things are going to go really badly, but I'm sure there was a tiny glimmer of hope underneath all the rubble that just kept you going, something in it that you knew that if you just persevered or if you just laid low, it would get better. Like there's something out there protecting you. And that to me is my higher self. Higher self to me is a connection to God or the universe. My higher self is simply almost like a direct connection to every other soul out there, to all the energies that support me and love me and that is what most people call a god however i talk about this a lot on my channel that i do not view god in the sort of western or christian way of god i view god as an energy field almost like we describe the universe in spirituality you can ask your higher self for guidance on anything so i've spoken about this before if you're stuck on um making a difficult decision i'll put the video for this up in the cards as well if you're stuck on making a difficult decision you can meditate be completely quiet and connect with your higher self. This is not your only way to connect with your higher self and ask for guidance or ask for an answer to a question. For someone like me who has gotten much better over the years through practice um, in connecting with my higher self and speaking to my higher self, um, you do not need to constantly go into meditation to be asking for guidance or trusting your higher self. However, for those of you who are new and, you know, perhaps less trusting of this process, I would meditate and attempt to speak to your higher self. And your higher self is pretty much the voice that comes out when everything else is quiet. When you've stopped thinking about your to-do list, when you've stopped thinking about why this person hasn't texted you back or, you know, how your, how your foot hurts or whatever, when those thoughts finally subside, the voice that comes in, you know, the really reasonable, calm, loving, only sees the good in you kind of voice comes in the really rational one that's when you know you're speaking to your higher self your higher self can give you all sorts of guidance your higher self knows everything your higher self knows what's going to happen at any given time and that is your intuition your higher self is your intuition your higher self is you know the answer to everything if you can contact your higher self and speak to it you know that you're never going to make a bad decision and this is why people say go with your heart and not your head your heart, your gut, these are all extensions of what I believe is the higher self. Once again, this is my opinion. And your higher self will never lie to you. Your higher self will always, always, even if it's not the most practical thing in the moment, lead you down the right path to the most prosperous, happy, loving, and overall just good outcome. Your higher self is the little pang that you get to take a left turn and you end up missing traffic. It's the little push you get to text an old friend who you haven't spoken to in years and a new opportunity comes out of it. Your higher self always knows where to guide you to be on your correct path to the most abundance and success and happiness that you could possibly ever want. Your higher self is always there for you and I almost think of it as a me but a double. <laughs> Have you ever had like a conversation with yourself when you were feeling sad or conflicted on something and you came out of it feeling a lot more clarity and happiness that's usually because you spoke to your higher self in that conversation and I really believe in having a conversation with myself quite often whether that's doing some inner child healing whether that's um trying to fix a big dilemma I've got or whether that's just simply checking in with myself I love to speak to my higher self and when I say speak to my higher self it pretty much just is you in your brain but it's the knowledgeable side of you that is calm, never stressed, never scared, and always trusting of the universe. Because, like I said, is your direct link to the universe. Now, if you don't believe in all these things, that is fine. I appreciate that. 
But do you not find solace in knowing that there is something out there so much bigger than you protecting and guiding and loving you at all given times? And this is something that really brings me joy and solace. So I'm just grateful for this concept of a higher self. And ever since I've been, you know, communicating with my higher self during a meditation or just in general, like having a conversation with myself, I have felt much better overall with the knowledge that I have this thing that Wayne Dwyer calls a senior partner almost like a friend that's with you at all given times but this friend never judges you and only sees the best in you <laughs> so how amazing is that so if you did find value in this video if this has cleared up the jargon of the idea of the higher self the source you know any any other your spirit your soul if 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 this has helped then please do like this video and subscribe to this channel it helps me out so very much and i will see you in the next upload bye